Alright guys, welcome to another Rewired tutorial. Today we're going to be doing vocal chop melodies. This lesson is going to cover the basics of using Slice X for chopping up your vocals and writing a uh, MIDI pattern for them. We're not going to go into the advanced stuff in this lesson because I'm going to save that for a different one. There's quite a lot of extra things you can do to really spice up your uh, vocal chops and make them sound a bit more interesting. But for now we're just going to focus on the basic ingredients. So I'm going to show you what we're going to be making today. Alright, so that's the sort of thing that we're going to be working on today, so let's dive straight in. I've already dropped my acapella onto the song playlist and I've time synced it to the project, so it's going to be in the right uh, BPM and it's going to play in time with all my other instruments. Um, I've just put on a really basic pad and piano loop as well so you can hear it with some instrumental so it's not just a vocal on its own. You're the air that I breathe, you're the light that I see And I'm praying to God that you are real Tell me it's not a dream cause I don't want to come down from where I am Okay so that's the basic acapella so now we're going to need to load up a new VST called Slice X and then if you drag your acapella you can drag it and drop it straight into this thing that looks a bit like Edison if you've used Edison before um, so you can drag it straight from your step sequencer or you can drag it from your browser or wherever or from a folder wherever your acapella is drop it in you're the air that I breathe you're the light that I see And just to tidy up a bit, I'm going to trim the silence off either side of the acapella. So I'm just going to speed up the video while I do that. You're the air that I breathe, you're the light that I see. Okay, so now the acapella is ready, we're going to need to get it chopped up. If you go to this little marker icon just above the waveform, and you click Auto Slice, and then you're going to get a couple of options. Um, this time we're going to use medium slicing. So now it's placed markers where it's detected all the words are, all the s separate words. If you look through, you can right click and play each single word now. So if you look on the piano roll now, you can see that it's automatically put a load of MIDI notes down, but we don't want them. You're the air that I breathe, you're the light that I see, and I'm praying to God that you are real. So now you can just hit Control A on your keyboard and hit Delete, and that'll get rid of all of them. I'm just going to write a quick melody now, completely random, so I'll just write it really quick, I'll speed the video up while I do it. Okay, so if we move this window out of the way for now and then we click on the Slice X tab again, if we move that to the side we'll get the properties and then we can assign it to a free mixer track. And now we can start adding some effects. I'm just adding an EQ here to trim off all the low frequencies that we don't want so we can clean up our sound. If you don't know how to do this, we've got another tutorial on our website called How to Clean Up Your Track with EQ. And next I'm going to add a little reverb and delay so it doesn't sound so dry. With the delay I usually just use the default preset and then I turn the two volume knobs down a little bit and then I like to put the time on 4. If you look at the top left of Fruity you'll see. Okay, 
SliceX has got its own filters built in so if you click the times one button then you can access these filters and that can be really handy if you want to filter your vocals in or out throughout the track it can be re really good on breakdowns filtering them in Alright, so I wasn't that happy with that vocal melody that I've made because I just rushed it and I just chucked a load of random notes in quickly. So I'm going to start again and this time I'm going to go on auto slice and I'm going to go sharp auto slicing. <laughs> So now it's all a lot smaller chops. If you right click on the markers at the top you can actually rename each word. So then this is really good when you're looking on the piano roll you can see what each note means, what each word it is. Alright, so just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to bother renaming them all, so I'm just going to go through and write another melody. This could take a couple of minutes, so I'll just write a few notes and then I'll speed the video up while I finish it off. While I'm writing, I like to play the song on a loop so I can hear the instrumental behind the vocals. years later. Alright, so I had to play around with it for a little bit longer and I've added a kick and bass and a couple of extra bits and this is where I'm at with it so far. So that's about it for a basic vocal chop. There's quite a lot of other features on Slice X and on the piano roll to make them a bit more interesting, but I'm not going to go into the advanced stuff in this lesson. So I'll have to do some different uh, videos for that. But I hope you've learned something in this video. If there's anything else you want to learn or anything you don't understand, just let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. Don't forget we've got a load of other tutorials on our website and on our YouTube, so go check them out at rewiredrecords.co.uk. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll be back soon with some more videos. Rewind Records delivering the freshest road music from around the world. Leading providers of music production tools, tuition and support for up and coming artists in the rave scene. Find us on Facebook or visit us at rewindrecords.co.uk.